And the second key session on day one of the Asian Financial Forum 2014 in Hong Kong was a policy dialogue involving regulators not only from Hong Kong, but also from elsewhere in Asia, the Middle East and Europe, a region that the panelists say is a place to look to when it comes to discussing regulation in Asia. How can regional economies best collaborate to their mutual benefit? What are the pros and cons of accelerated economic and financial cooperation in Asia? And what lessons have we learned from the global financial crisis? Have we done enough in the region to avoid another crisis in the future? We should all learn from each other. I think Asia, because the Asian crisis um, happened 15 years ago, got through this global financial crisis a lot better because Asia itself had drawn the right conclusions um, to be careful um, how the financial system develops, trying to avoid bubbles, trying to avoid too, too much um, leverage, um, and that has helped. I foresee a much closer cooperation between this part of the world. And, I, and it's interesting, in the Middle East, they feel they are in Asia. In Asia, they're not sure if the Middle East is in, in Asia. But I, I, I very much hope for a closer cooperation. We are working very hard indeed with Asia. Uh, and we continue to work, of course, with, with, with Europe and with the United States, They're very important. But I think we are doing the right thing in balancing uh, our efforts between the East and West. And we see it being in the middle, I think it's the right thing for us to, to do and to have done. Really, there's no one size fits all. All region countries are different, and therefore it is important that we identify exactly what fits what purpose. I think it's great to have global regulatory reforms, but they have to take into account the different uh, stages of development and the culture and the background uh, of different regions. I think that's perhaps uh, one thing that uh, uh, we should learn.